Hi, welcome to Roughneck Movies. I'm Captain Jim, and with me always is Paul. This week we're going to be doing the Bill and Ted Face the Music trailer breakdown. I'm looking forward to this film because the last one was what 25 years ago, Paul. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I think it was at like quarter of a century, and I'm so excited for this film. Bill and Ted, especially Bogus Journey, the second one was just yeah. one of my favourite films when I was around sort of 10 or 11. Well, anyway, the trailer starts off and we've got 25 years ago. You played in a concert in front of the entire world and it's the voice of the mum from... Uh, Two oh, and a Half Men. Two and a Half Men, yeah. that's right, yeah. I was, so I was wondering Judith. what she's been up to and it turns out she's been in the future. She's been in the future. Yeah. Um, she then says that they played... They haven't played a gig for 25 years. They recently played Taco Night and we see the desert in the background, which I believe is where the second film takes place. We go to the future, um, and sadly, uh, Rufus isn't there anymore because the actor's passed away. You told me there's a rumour that he might be reprising his role using old footage, is that right? I'm hoping so, because for me, like George Carlin, is he was one of the best bits about the original films, and he's, he's one of the best stand-ups of all time in my opinion and yeah. just effortlessly cool and you need that you need that cool element to offset the stupidity of bill and ted so i'm really hoping they find a way to bring him back in and yeah the rumor is right now they're going to use old footage as a way of getting him into the film it looks to me that they are it, it, you get the next shot it, it looks to me like they're playing guitar in this big gig um and then later in the trailer i'll skip to it it shows two girls, which we know from the behind-the-scenes talks is their daughters. One of them's filming, and one of them looks shocked. Like, maybe there's a problem on stage, um, and then they get whisk whisked off to the future. Um, we'll have to see. But the next part that comes along in the trailer is them appearing on the roof of a van or a truck in the middle of a freeway or a highway. And then we've got, um, is it a cello or a bass um, instrument? Which makes me think that there might be some reprising characters from the first film. Because they mm. go back in time, don't they, and get all these characters to help to complete their um, history assignment. Um, but then, a few seconds later, we get a Roman centurion appear out of nowhere. No time machine thing. He just pops right into screen and he looks like he's fighting someone. We also see Death, the Grim Reaper, mm -hmm. uh, reprised by, what was the actor called? William Sadler. Isn't he the bad guy in Die Hard 2 that does naked yoga? <laughs> yoga. I, I, I love a bit of naked yoga, yeah. Um, I, I, always, I love the fact that in the background you can see the Wild Stallion's jacket that he's got there and the newspaper clipping from the end of the second film. And I love that you've just got his scythe, you know, as it cuts later, just leant against the wall, you know, casually. And behind, behind it, you know, the world is burning. In the, in the second movie, when they died... I always thought, how did they do that cool effect? Because they look dead, they're all glum and grey. And all they did, years later, I, I worked it out when I was studying film at uni, is they just put them in grey makeup on their face and they just reproduced all the clothes they were wearing, but grey. And I always thought, wow, they must have digitally taken ages. And for back then it would have been really impressive, but they didn't. Jim, you have you have just you've just taken the magic out of that movie for me. Right, back to the trailer. So, the next scene that we see is them going through what looks like uh, some sort of like pinball machine, and they're in like an yeah. orb. And it's very reminiscent of the old, uh, it, the, the original movies when they're in the telephone box going through time, going through the tubes of time. So it suggests that actually the telephone box morphs into a different visual maybe maybe yeah maybe maybe it's a updated version of the time machine or maybe and i this is just a theory of mine it's interdimensional travel because the next thing we see is although they're in the phone box at this point we see bill and ted arrive uh at a prison and they're talking about stealing now i'm wondering if that's them stealing from themselves they ended up going to prison because they stole or is this an alternate timeline oh i like it so they're now they're not just going through time they're going through space-time. 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 Uh, Bill uh, has got a, what, a handlebar moustache and a shaved head. And he's got heinous and wild stallions tattooed across him. And it looks like Ted's got excellent and something else tattooed on his stomach. I can't see what it says. But if you can read it, let me know in the comments because I want to know what it says. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if this is an alternate timeline where they stole their own idea and now they've been in prison for years and they're totally ripped. Or... 
Or is it, yes, is it a future timeline or alternate timeline? What do you reckon? Oh, I like that idea. Because in, in, the, in the trailer, obviously, they say we're going to go to the future to steal our own soul. Do you, are yep. you saying that these two in prison are them who have stolen their own song in the future and ended up in prison? Now they're going to go steal the song from them? That, that, that's, if that's what you're saying, which I'm going to assume it is, that's brilliant. That's, that's what it alludes to. That's the sort of, of um, Doctor Who timey-wimey stuff that I am totally on board with. Cool. Well, if we've missed anything in the trailer that you can spot, let us know because, what well, we want to know. Um, I'm Captain Jim Lyle. This is Paul Weisel. This is Roughneck Movies. <laughs>